I have a kind of a tricky little problem for you, uh, Stacy. Let's assume that you applied for a job okay. and uh, you said, I would like to make $20 a day and you're going to work for 20 days. How much would you make in it? $400. And uh, your po potential boss says, sorry, Stacy, that's much too <laughs> much money. So then you make a proposition back to him. You say, well, pay me only a penny the first day. Okay. And the second day, you pay me two pennies. And the third day, four pennies. In other words, doubling each mm -hmm. day. At the end of 20 days, would you be money ahead? I think I, you would be. Well, how? How come? Well, one time in math, we had this problem. There's a bacterium in, the, in a jar, and they double at the rate of they double each day. And at 20 days, it would have filled the jar. Mm -hmm. And at, well, how many days would have they have filled half the jar? And most people think 10, but it's really 19. Okay. The idea of doubling a number uh, you soon run into very, very big numbers mm -hmm. very, very quickly. Yes, you like do. I have worked out what you would get each day okay. and covered it up so you couldn't see it. So push it down there and you see here's day one. Yeah, you get one, one cent. cent. Then you get two cents on day two. It's doubling, so you get four cents, eight cents, 16.32. Then we're starting getting pretty big right away. 15th, 16th, 17th day, oh my 18th, goodness. 19th. Here's the 20th day, and I even went one beyond to the 21st day. So on the 20th day, what would you get? You'd get $5,242.88. Now that idea of doubling, scientists use it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. In the case of bacteria, doubling every 20 minutes. Or um, uh, other kinds of animals that have a life cycle maybe of once a day or mm -hmm. once every week or something. And they use that doubling idea in order to calculate the, uh, the total number very quickly. But you would not receive $5,242.88. <laughs> I would No, because you would actually have the total of all of these. Oh, yeah. So really what you have to do is add all these up. Mm -hmm. But there's a simple way to do it. Notice, by the way, that if you add the first day to the second to the third, you would have what? Seven. Seven cents. And notice that's one less than doubling the next day and subtracting one. Oh, I see. So you double the four cents and subtract one and you get and you, seven. And you get the total. So now you can go down here to the 20th day, uh -huh. and I've already done it. I've yeah. doubled it. So what do you actually receive? $10,485.75. Yes. And that's a quick way to add up a column of doubled numbers mm -hmm. like that. In fact, uh, you would be money ahead, uh, what, right but, here? Yeah, about the 16th day because I'd have $655.35. And and right. So that's kind of an interesting problem. Yeah, you try that on really your dad, see if you can get him to pay a double every day. Yeah, for my allowance. All right, that's a good idea.